poppin welcome to or welcome back to my youtube channel i feel like this is the first time in forever that i've actually come on the camera looking presentable because normally i'd be looking real crazy basically in today's video as you guys have read by the title i'm not sure what i'm going to be titling this video we are going to be doing a prepping for the whole october halloween fall thing i wrote down a list of different appointments and different activities that i wanted to do specifically for this video let's go ahead and start off with the to-do list i wrote it down on my ipad so for this video i am going to be getting my lashes done i texted the person that did my lashes to see if i could schedule like a refill or something because my lashes are like Ooh. gone right now but i'm probably gonna have to just like take them off and get somebody else to do it because she hasn't responded yet and i kind of want this video to come together in a timely manner i'm gonna be getting my hair done i'm actually planning on dyeing my hair i'm basically just gonna touch up my roots and probably get like a braid style another braid style or something like that i'm gonna be doing my nails i'm actually gonna do my nails today because i cannot like i i literally cannot have the stubbies for too long so we definitely have to go do the nails today and then i i wanted to create a vision board i've actually been meaning to create a vision board even though it's like it's literally October the 4th right now. I don't know, I feel like it'd be fun to create a vision board and maybe like low key manifest the vision board to happen because there's a lot of things that I wanna do for this month. I also wanted to go to the library and pick up a new book. If you guys didn't know, I've kind of been getting into reading lately, like picking up books and actually reading books instead of watching shows and stuff. Yesterday I actually went and got my toes done. They're just this really cute green color and I think I'm gonna go for like a green theme for my nails. I'm gonna show y'all the whole picture inspo and everything for my nails a little bit later but right now i have to go to the apple store to see if i can get my macbook fixed because somehow the screen literally cracked i honestly don't know what happened i'm thinking my little sister did something it just didn't tell me because it literally came out of nowhere i'm gonna have to spend 500 dollars on that and then i'm gonna take a quick trip to sally's because i have to get a couple of things for my nails that's basically like the agenda for this video let's just go ahead and get into it because i'm really excited it's time for for me to get my life together for this month. Okay, so we've arrived to the salon that I work in. I'm just gonna show y'all my picture inspo before I go in because I know there's gonna be music playing and I don't wanna get copyrighted. I'm gonna show you guys the look that I'm going for and then we'll get into the montage. I wanted to do a Halloween set. I've actually been really looking forward to like the Halloween sets and stuff. I'm gonna show y'all a couple of pictures that I'm inspired by. Normally when I do my nails, I find a bunch of pictures that I like and kind of just throw them all together. Y'all probably can't see this but there's glitter under her nails and i think i'm gonna do that if y'all seen the red bottom nails y'all know what i'm talking about i'm gonna do glitter bottoms i also wanted to do like the little stitch theme and like french tips and then i also definitely want to do this ghost face nail probably do that on like the ring finger and then on the pointer finger i'll do another little cute design maybe put like some words or something so yeah that's like the theme of my nails i want to do a halloween theme set and then the colors are gonna be green because my toes are literally green so let's go ahead and get started because I'm excited.
I actually did go and get my laptop fixed. It's not turning on right now because it's charging. And I'm waiting on it to charge up enough to where it turns on. I actually got a package, y'all, because after my screen cracked on my laptop, it was a priority for me to order a new laptop case. And I finally got the package. It came in the mail today. I'm not about to crack that laptop again. Bruh. Okay, this is the case. Y'all can't really see it. Hold on. Because it's not as simple as it looks. I promise. I promise. I was going to go for something like cool and crazy looking. But I decided like to go for a fall case. I had another case, but I don't know where it went. One of my sister's friends came over one day. She was like playing with the case. And I never saw it again after that. I'm not accusing her, but I just never found the case again. So it was mandatory to buy another one. Okay, this is the little back part. It's so cute. It's just a simple little heart. And I thought that was so cute for the fall time. Let's put this on. The laptop case is secured. This is so cute. It feels nice to have a different look of your laptop when you've been used to the same one forever. This is the laptop. It's super cute. And I can add some cute little stickers if I want to. But I'm gonna just see you guys tomorrow. I just got my Starbucks. I got the pumpkin spice frappuccino. I think that's what it's called. And I got it with one pump caramel syrup. I got caramel drizzle. And I told them to line the cup with caramel sauce. This is literally the best fall drink ever. Like pumpkin spice is so good. But when you add the caramel to it, it makes it 10 times better. Like caramel makes anything better. And then I also got this ham Swiss baguette 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 i'm basically on my little lunch break well not necessarily a lunch break because i don't have to go back to work but yeah we're about to eat right now this is so good i'm not gonna lie i took a little break from starbucks and i was doing pretty good but recently i just been hooked on their pumpkin spice frappuccino so i've been spending a lot of money on starbucks this stuff be too high honestly like 15 dollars for a sandwich one sandwich and a frappuccino it's good though i'm gonna eat it but anyways it's actually a few days later as y'all can see my hair is still not done my lashes are still not done the only thing that i got done is my nails but tomorrow we're gonna be getting the lashes and i'm probably gonna get my hair done tomorrow as well so we're gonna get all that stuff done tomorrow but right now i'm actually about to go to the library and we're gonna pick out a book today in the spirit of halloween season we're gonna find like a good mystery book Okay, y'all, so I just got back home. Just got back to the Heezy for Sheezy. And I actually picked up this book here from the library. It's called In Another Life. This story is about, um, pretend that I'm y'all teacher. This story is about a girl who discovers her face on a missing child poster. Was she kidnapped as a child? Were her adoptive parents behind it? Chloe was three years old when she joined the idyllic happy Holden family. Now 14 years later her parents marriage has fallen apart. Everything Chloe loved about her life is gone and to make matters worse being back in her mom's old town of joyful Texas stirs up haunting feelings of deja vu. When Chloe meets Cash Colton she's drawn to him until Cash 
just tells her the real reason he sought her out. Chloe looks exactly like the daughter his foster parents lost years ago. The daughter they still grieve and he's determined to find out the truth. As Chloe and Cash delve deeper into her adoption, things don't add up. And the clearer it becomes that someone dangerous doesn't want them to figure it out. Why is Chloe's adoption a secret that people would kill for? What would you do if your whole life turned out to be a lie but uncovering the truth could get you killed? <sighs> So we about to start reading this book. It is currently 2.24 and I do want to start editing this video at around 5 o'clock. Not this video. I filmed another video that's probably going to be up before this video which is my Shein try on haul. So go watch that video right now if you haven't already. But yeah we're about to get into reading a little bit of this book. I'm going to let y'all know how the first chapter is going so far. And then after I read a little bit of that book we're going to go ahead and create our vision board for this month. Even though we're literally 11 days into October and I'm just now creating a vision board which that's okay because we still have about 20 days to do all of the things that i want to do for this month it's better late than ever i'm gonna be very transparent with y'all real quick i cannot wear pants around the house like it's just more comfortable when you feel comfortable you know so i'm just about to get real comfortable then i don't have to go back to work i'm gonna be in the bed for the rest of the day Okay, so I actually read two of the chapters and they're actually pretty good. Like the storyline is actually going pretty good. I'm gonna continue reading this later. But right now we're about to start on our vision board. I think what I'm about to do first is like go through Pinterest and just find a bunch of different pictures, like aesthetic Halloween type of pictures. Pinterest is literally my holy grail. You can find everything on Pinterest. Let me show y'all what we came up with. I'll put it as my wallpaper because it's like real cute. We got the scream thing that says nothing, just chilling, killing. We have the pumpkin carving because I actually want to do that this year. And then I have me at the gym because we're going to be consistent at the gym. And then I have a couple little aesthetic pictures like the little city picture. And then I have this picture. Then I have a picture of me and my friends because I want to hang out with them this month. I have 777 good luck wonderful things are about to happen got a picture of nails and then i have this corn maze because i think i do want to go to the corn maze this year and you know for youtube i got the little camera this is all the stuff that basically is gonna summarize my month when i do make little vision boards i like to have them as my lock screen because it kind of motivates me or reminds me of the things that i want to do so this is what it's looking like for this month now that i'm finally done with my vision board we have a couple more things to do for this video i'm just gonna see y'all sometime tomorrow i might take y'all to the gym with me so just stay on the lookout even though you're literally gonna see the next clip in like two seconds <laughs>
I'm about to be on the way to my lash appointment right now. It is 17 minutes away. So I'm going to get there like right on time. When I say I can't see not a doggone thing with these glasses on, my vision has literally gotten so much worse since the last couple of eye doctor visits. And that is really not okay. And my lash appointment is at 1.15. I'm really excited. I'm going to ask her if it's okay for me to film so that you guys can see a little bit of the process. I'm actually parked in front of my house right now. I just went and got Chick-fil-A. I just got the grilled chicken nugget meal. And I had fries, but I ate them in the car because I was starving. And then I went to the bank to turn in some of my money. I'm going to call my mom real quick and see what she's doing so that I can see if I'm getting my hair done today. By the way, I literally love the lash tech that I went to. But the next time that I do get my lashes done, I think I'm going to go a little bit shorter. I love them. I love the length and everything. Like... They look perfect. And then they're fluffy. They're not like really hard and harsh. And then also, it didn't take her long at all. Like I was there no longer than an hour and 30 minutes. Thank mm -hmm. you. 